In mathematics, set theoretic topology is a subject that combines set theory and general topology. It focuses on topological questions that are independent of Zermelo Frankel set theory. ZFC. Topic. Objects studied in set theoretic topology Topic: Dalka spaces In the mathematical field of general topology, a Dalka space is a topological space that is T4 but not countably paracompact. Dalka conjectured that there were no Dalka spaces, and the conjecture was not resolved until M. E. Rudin constructed one in 1971. Rudin's counterexample is a very large space of cardinality omega zero. Display style aleph underscore omega caret aleph underscore zero and is generally not well behaved Zoltorn Ballo gave the first ZFC construction of a small cardinality continuum example which was more well behaved than Rudin's Using PCF theory M Koshman and S Scheller constructed a subspace of Rudin's Dalka space of cardinality omega plus 1 display style aleph underscore omega plus 1 that is also Dalka Topic: Normal Moore spaces. A famous problem is the normal Moore space question, a question in general topology that was the subject of intense research. The answer to the normal Moore space question was eventually proved to be independent of ZFC. Topic: <laughs> Cardinal functions. Cardinal functions are widely used in topology as a tool for describing various topological properties. Below are some examples. Note, some authors, arguing that, "...there are no finite cardinal numbers in general topology," prefer to define the cardinal functions listed below so that they never take on finite cardinal numbers as values. This requires modifying some of the definitions given below, e.g. by adding plus zero display style plus aleph underscore zero to the right hand side of the definitions etc perhaps the simplest cardinal invariance of a topological space x are its cardinality and the cardinality of its topology denoted respectively by x and o x the weight w x of a topological space x is the smallest possible cardinality of a base for x when w x 0 display style leq aleph underscore zero the space X is said to be second countable the pi display style pi weight of a space X is the smallest cardinality of a pi display style pi base for X the character of a topological space X at a point X is the smallest cardinality of a local base for X the character of space X is chi X equals sup chi X X X element of X display style chi X equals sup chi X X X in X when chi X Zero. Display style chi x leq aleph underscore zero. The space x is said to be first countable. The density d x of a space x is the smallest cardinality of a dense subset of x. When d x zero. Display style room d x leq aleph underscore zero. The space X is said to be separable. The Lindelof number L X of a space X is the smallest infinite cardinality such that every open cover has a subcover of cardinality no more than L X. When L X equals zero, 
Display style room L X equals Aleph underscore zero. The space X is said to be a Lindelof space. The cellularity of a space X is C X equals sup U U Display style room C X equals sup mathcal U mathcal U is a family of mutually disjoint non-empty open subsets of X display style X the hereditary cellularity sometimes spread is the least upper bound of cellularities of its subsets s X equals H C X equals sub C Y Y X Display style S X equals room H C X equals sub room C Y Y subset X or S X equals sub Y Y X Display style S X equals sub Y Y subset X with the subspace topology is discrete display style the tightness t x x of a topological space x at a point x element of x display style x in x is the smallest cardinal number alpha display style alpha such that whenever x element of c l X Y display style X in room C L underscore X Y for some subset Y of X there exists a subset Z of Y with Z alpha display style alpha such that X element of C L X Z Display style x in room C L underscore x Z. Symbolically, T x x equals sub min Z Z y x element of C L x Z y x x element of c l x y display style t x x equals sub big min z z subset x y wedge x in room c l underscore x z y subset x x wedge x in room c l underscore x y big the tightness of a space X is T X equals sub T X X X element of X display style T X equals sub T X X X in X when T X equals zero Display style Aleph underscore zero. The space X is said to be countably generated or countably tight. The augmented tightness of a space X T plus X display style T carrot plus X is the smallest regular cardinal alpha display style alpha such that for any Y X display style Y subset X X element of C L X Y display style X in room C L underscore X Y there is a subset Z of Y with cardinality less than alpha display style alpha 
such that x element of c l x z display style x in room c l underscore x z Topic Martin's axiom for any cardinal k, we define a statement, denoted by m a k, for any partial order p satisfying the countable chain condition hereafter c c c and any family d of dense sets in p such that d k, there is a filter f on p such that f d is non-empty for every d in d since it is a theorem of z f c that m a c fails. The Martin's axiom is stated as, Martin's axiom m a, for every k in this case for application of c c c, an antikine is a subset A of P such that any two distinct members of A are incompatible. Two elements are said to be compatible if there exists a common element below both of them in the partial order. This differs from, for example, the notion of antikine in the context of trees. M A two zero display style two carat aleph underscore zero is false. Zero one is a compact Hausdorff space which is separable and so C C C. It has no isolated points, so points in it are nowhere dense. But it is the union of two zero display style two carat aleph underscore zero many points. An equivalent formulation is: if X is a compact Hausdorff topological space which satisfies the CCC, then X is not the union of K or fewer nowhere dense subsets. Martin's axiom has a number of other interesting combinatorial, analytic and topological consequences, the union of k or fewer null sets in an atomless sigma finite Borel measure on a Polish space is null. In particular, the union of k or fewer subsets of R of Liebsge measure 0 also has Liebsge measure 0. A compact Hausdorff space X with, X, no non-principal ultrafilter on N has a base of cardinality equivalently for any X in beta N N we have chi X K, where chi is the character of X, and so chi beta N K. M A one display style aleph underscore one implies that a product of C C C topological spaces is C C C. This in turn implies there are no Suslin lines. M A plus C H implies that there exists a whitehead group that is not free. Scheller used this to show that the whitehead problem is independent of Z F C. Topic: Forcing. Forcing is a technique invented by Paul Cohen for proving consistency and independence results. It was first used, in 1963, to prove the independence of the axiom of choice and the continuum hypothesis from zermelo frankel set theory. Forcing was considerably reworked and simplified in the 1960s, and has proven to be an extremely powerful technique both within set theory and in areas of mathematical logic such as recursion theory. Intuitively, forcing consists of expanding the set theoretical universe V to a larger universe V. In this bigger universe, for example, one might have lots of new subsets of omega equals 0, 1, 2, that were not there in the old universe, and thereby violate the continuum hypothesis. While impossible on the face of it, this is just another version of Cantor's paradox about infinity. In principle, one could consider v equals v times 0 1 display style v caret asterisk equals v times 0 1 identify x element of v display style x in v with x 0 display style x 0 and then introduce an expanded membership relation involving the new sets of the form x 1 display style x 1 forcing is a more elaborate version of this idea reducing the expansion to the existence of one new set and allowing for fine control over the properties of the expanded universe see the main articles for applications such as random reals <laughs>